Do you want to land a management position this year? Well, here's my help with some top tips along the way. Getting into management this year is more relevant than ever. With the job market evolving at an incredible pace, professionals like yourself need to be proactive in developing the skills and the strategies that are needed to stay ahead of the game. So whether you're an aspiring leader or you're just looking to take your career to the next level, this video is for you. So to start, one of the biggest obstacles that will prevent people like yourself from advancing into management position is the lack of experience. A lot of people feel that they don't have the necessary years of experience under the belt, so they won't be considered for a management role. But it isn't just about the number of years that you've been working. It's actually rather the quality of your experience and what you've actually accomplished during that time. So another barrier that people struggle with is networking. So building relationships with the right people in your industry, that can be really tough. And especially if you're like me and you're introverted or you're not sure where to start. Some people might have a lack of confidence that can hold you back from pursuing management opportunities. You may have heard of imposter syndrome and that's very real. It's a common thing to feel like you're not qualified enough or experienced enough to lead a team. But the truth is, Management is a skill that can be learned and developed over time and limited access to resources and training can actually prevent you from advancing into management positions. So if you don't have the current support from your employer or the financial means yourself to invest in your own development, it can be even tougher to get ahead. So it's clear, breaking through these barriers needs a strategic approach. So get your pen and paper, let's break it down. What are the key skills and qualifications needed for these management roles? Well, firstly, leadership is very essential. A manager needs to be able to motivate and inspire their team, as well as make tough decisions and take calculated risks without feeling too bad about it. Communication skills are really crucial. Managers need to be able to articulate a vision and their goals effectively to a team as well as other stakeholders. Industry specific knowledge is vital. Managers need to have a deep understanding of what their sector is and stay up to date with the latest trends and developments. Another main area, problem solving and analytical skills are critical for you as a manager. A manager needs to be able to assess complex situations, identify where the problems lie, develop creative solutions to overcome them. So you need to be able to adapt it's key as a manager, you have to be able to pivot quickly and respond to changing circumstances. Emotional intelligence is also essential for building strong relationships with team members and stakeholders. And you need to be able to empathize with your team to manage conflict and build trust. So how can you overcome those barriers and land a management position? Well, one successful strategy is to start taking on leadership roles within your organization. So that might be really simple like taking on the lead as a project or mentor a junior colleague take on more responsibility and demonstrate your capabilities that can help you to start to build your confidence and develop those leadership skills that we're talking about another approach is to seek out opportunities outside of your current job so that might be through freelancing volunteering or taking on a side hustle you need to take control of what your skills are and do not wait on other people to give you opportunities. You might be waiting a very long time. Personally, I find that building relationships with mentors has been instrumental in my own career development. Having somebody who can offer guidance or advice or support makes all the difference. And I've also learned the importance of continuous learning for self-development invest in my own skills and my own knowledge. I've been able to stay ahead of the curve and position myself for management opportunities. And during your meetings with your manager, please do not be too shy to say, I want to be a manager or I want your job when you leave. What do I have to do? That's how I managed to promote and get more than double my salary in less than five years. So top tip, be bold. So to summarize, getting into management requires a proactive approach, a willingness to learn and adapt. By understanding what the common barriers are preventing you from advancing, that will help you to develop the key skills and the qualifications needed for those management roles. 
Adopt a successful strategy. You can't just hope for the best. You need to increase your chances of landing that management position. Thank you all for watching and I would love to hear about your own experiences in the comments below. So tell me, have you overcome any barriers to achieve your management? Have you overcome any barriers to achieve your management position? And tell me what strategies actually worked for you. You can help a lot of people here. And if you're looking for more career development tips, be sure that you check out my other videos on the channel and playlist. Best of luck guys, and I will see you soon. Take care. Poo!